Hey guys, welcome to primandprep.com. Today we're going to be reviewing the three-piece feather all stainless safety razor, and it's definitely a high-end safety razor made by Feather, the same people that make my favorite double-edged razor blades. Um, it came in this box, uh, this nice red box, um, with foam inside that perfectly fits the safety razor, and it came with five high stainless feather blades as well. They're the same ones that have the yellow, the yellow covering uh, when you normally buy them off of Amazon, but they have a black and white design for this safety razor. So that's the packaging it came in. Uh, looking at the fit and finish, they did an absolute fantastic job on it. Uh, you can't really find any flaws. Um, at, the, at the top it just says feather, all stainless razor. has kind of like a modern look if you look at the safety bar. Um, so yeah, let's talk about the weight and the balance of this guy. Uh, it weighs 3.25 ounces according to my scale. It's um, 0.05 heavier than it says on their website, but that's fine because I like heavy safety razors already. The balance point is about... About three quarters of an inch below the headpiece, which is great if you, for maneuvering it from, um, you know, a downward stroke. That's how I hold it on a downward stroke to a to an upward stroke for against the grain shaving strokes. It's really easy to maneuver. Um, feels really good in my hand. The grip. Um, let's see if you could get up close and still be able to focus. Let me see. Yeah, the grip is a cross cross sectional group mini grooves that form little diamonds in there, and they're actually really, really detailed diamonds if you get really close to it and look. Uh, it's not. It's kind of similar to a gritty metal feel that you would feel on like a Mercure thirty four C, except that if you look up close, there are a lot more detailed diamonds. Just the craftsmanship is amazing, but it has the same feel as the gritty metal, which is excellent. Um, they have three horizontal grooves uh, at the bottom of the handle and at the top of the handle, and that's actually perfect because I hold it right at that first groove at the top right here when I'm shaving, and it just lets me know where my hand is uh, without even needing to look at it. I can just feel right there. And then I'm set, and it also improves the grip right there. Overall, the grip is 10 out of 10. Uh, I'd give it the grip. Uh, let's talk about the headpiece. The headpiece is different than most safety razors because it's actually designed to be... You're supposed to shave at a 45-degree angle with this headpiece as opposed to the standard... standard 30 degree angle that you would find on most most safety razors. Let me get a blade real fast. And actually before I do that, if you notice these four corners right here, these four squares in each corner, that really helps it center to center the blade and to make sure it's perfectly aligned when you're shaving. And I've noticed I've have never had a problem with it. Um, the blade gap is extremely, extremely small. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. I'm going to try to focus on it. It's very small, so it, it results in a very mild shave. Uh, on my scale of aggressiveness, I would rate it about a, a 3 out of 10. So it's uh, even using the sharpest blades feather, uh, which is... Is actually, you know, designed to use feather blades. It's almost impossible to cut yourself. I've never cut myself with it, and uh, you could really use any blade you want, but the blade gap is, is super small. You shave at a 45 degree angle, and it just cuts through hairs like, like nothing. It's very smooth. Uh, if you have sensitive skin, this would be a really good safety razor for you. Um, if you have a tough Thick, tough beard, you might need something a little bit more aggressive, so maybe this might not be the 
the safety razor to go for, but just like any three-piece safety razor, uh, you know, you have to be a little bit more careful when replacing the blade, as opposed to like a butterfly open. But it's still, it's still really easy. And it's a lot easier to clean, and it should just last you a lifetime. Uh, no questions about that. So yeah, um, overall, this was the review on the uh, all stainless feather safety razor. Um, the big question, is it worth it? And that's a difficult question um, to answer just because, okay, so if you're a beginner, I wouldn't recommend it just because if you've never gone into wet shaving, you don't want to spend $160, that's how much it costs. Uh, for your first experience, maybe wet shaving is not for you, and then you already, you know, lost one hundred and sixty dollars. Also, if you are somebody that has really thick beard, uh, it's going to be hard to cut through. The blade gap's really small, so you're going to have to keep on rinsing underwater over and over again to get all the hairs out from every stroke that you make. Um, but is it worth the price? Is the quality worth the price? Absolutely. It's the best safety razor I own. The weight's amazing. The length is perfect for everybody, 3.75 inches long. Um, it makes it really easy to maneuver from hand position to hand position. Uh, if you have small hands, it's not too long of a handle. And if you have big hands like me, it's fine because I can still do all my, all my grips. This is the grip that requires the longest handle. And it still puts my index finger at the balance point perfectly. Um, the grip is amazing. The headpiece is amazing. It centers the blade perfectly every time. Um, it produces a very clean, sh smooth shave. No skin irritation, um, even on sensitive part of uh, my skin, like my neck. So quality-wise, it can't be beat. If you're a wet shaving enthusiast, this needs to be in your collection. Definitely, you know, you can't really, can't really beat it. Just like their double-edged safety blades, um, it's the best of the best. So that's my Feather All Stainless Steel Safety Razor review. Hope you, hope you guys liked it. Head over to Prim and Prep. There should be a link floating around here somewhere so that you guys can click on it and check out some more safety razor reviews as well as male grooming tips um, and articles and, st and stuff like that. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to be doing a lot more reviews and um, helpful male grooming videos in the future.